to put an end to this valve project to, to recap. This head was the head that was on an engine in one of the prior videos. It was primered. I think this was a Middle Tennessee head I got. It has a real good, this was in the in this head when I got it, the uh, governor. And the way that governor works, this is a uh, three horsepower. Got a spring on it, yonder. This is all made in one piece. The spring does come off and on. And this is the flapper that's down in there with a screw in there. That's the way that looks. This one was in there in good condition, and it does fill up the hole like 100%. And and I do have a new spring that we that I will install. I have run a tap in all holes, inch and a quarter in the bottom there, spark plug tap in the uh, spark plug hole, it, and I have cleaned it in the electrolysis tank. I, I will treat it with a metal prep before I install it on the engine. But the valve, to wind this valve project up is the exhaust valve with just a drip of oil on it right there. Run it up in the uh, up in the hole. You see that? And there is no side play. I know I'm making a point of that, but hell, there's none there. Put this down there like that. Put that up here like that. And we made a new pin. Observe where your hole's at. Don't be fidgeting around. Push down on this right here and put that pin in there to where it fits in behind them two things like that. Okay, now now we we got that we got that exhaust valve on there. That's good to go. Yeah, that's good to go. The intake valve is the same. Let's wipe her down. Put a little drip of oil on it right there. Not much. I'll fix it into the hole. Spring and this 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 spring saddle nut this is the outside and that's the part towards the spring put that on there I did run a tap inside that so it would be free it does get a lock this is this is not a lock nut it's a castellated nut and these right here are unplated that's them cotter keys that ain't got no cadmium on them. You you can these these, these is not uh, these ain't hard to find. You don't walk in the corner hardware store down there and get them. Your local nut and bolt store should be able to secure you some unplated cotters. And and if it, it, when it comes to the buying them, just buy you a whole bunch of the real long ones, and then you can snip them off to size. Just put him in there, and see that's wrong right there. If I may bring that to your attention, that's not correct. It goes in to bring that out there where it's supposed to be, and a cotter goes in sideways, and then the ends comes this way and this way. You do not put a cotter in facing this way. Look it up in the book. Do it right the first time. The uh, length on that one would be uh, say about right there. Snip that off. Now take a file, file that off rounding and then pry it apart. It's elementary but it has to be done. Rise that thing apart like that right there, and then file round in those two ends, and you will not uh, hurt yourself at a later time. And that goes in there. I'm not going to put it together because I am going to treat it with some metal prep. And then this would come back out and, and lock up against that. And that's the intake. And it's an atmospheric type intake. And, uh, you know, that's what it's supposed to do. It just sits there and does that.
there is a reason that this does this, and it's one of the most overlooked parts on a McCormick Deering M. And we'll get to that too. And, and just write that down on the rock over there. That it's the most overlooked and the most common problem of having to run. See, this, this engine should never, write this on a rock. This engine should never have to run with a closed, and I was out of camera range. Write this on a, on a rock over there. This uh, McCormick Darien M should never be required to run with a half closed or a closed choke. If you have to do that, there is definitely something wrong with your engine. They, 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 were, they were meant to be run with the choke open. Um, and, and I will show you in an in a upcoming video one of the reasons that you have to run with a closed choke. <laughs> it's worth the wait. Yeah, we're going to do a little machine work to set it right, but we'll get her there. And it's something you may have to do to your engine. Just, okay, let's get on. Uh, we're done here. This is going to be the end of this valve work. Um, and I do, I'm going to go ahead and finish this other one up right now. And then um, uh, this, this head here, the reason I'm pointing to this one back here, uh, the one of the comments was, is "How come I didn't clean that head up?" Well, the the engine that this head goes on, it's it's an original engine with uh, some paint left on it, and so you, if you have an engine like that, you would not want to put a nice shiny painted head on it. You would not want to put a uh, this head or even on it. You would want to put a head if you had a choice. You would want to put a head on that engine that is the same patina. You want to keep it in the range to, so it'll look good. And I did set a carburetor aside w with the same patina on it. Uh, and let's call this a, and let's call this a finished project. From here on the east coast of Arkansas, Shop Dog Sam.